I meant to turn that around, y'all. Okay. Man. <clears throat> All right, y'all. This live right here was brought on about... Brought on by people who claim that they... Claim that they know where hip-hop started. And today, I am going to be discussing that with you. And I'm trying to debate on whether I want to show y'all the collages of what I have, actual evidence of hip hop, and also the etymology of the N word, okay? Cool Gamer, what's up? Welcome Cool Gamer, appreciate you for coming through, man. This live right here might be a little deep. <clears throat> I might lose some friends because of this shit, but hey. Oh, well, they say the truth hurts. A hit dog will holler. TV Dooley, what's up, y'all? I just finished eating some, uh... Fajitas, yeah. <clears throat> mm. I don't know if y'all can hear the music in the background. Oh, appreciate the thumbs up. They don't want to stay in here. Who started hip hop? What up, bro? What up, what up, what up? Appreciate you for coming through. You saw the title? We can talk real good today. Because I got some, um, I got some clips and shit. You feel me? I got clips today. I said, damn, Rob Albanks got clips today. I might get, um, a copyright claim or whatever, but it is going to be for teaching purposes, for real, because a lot of people don't know this shit. And then by me being who I am, I'm, I'm, I'm just somebody on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a million followers or even a couple of hundred thousand followers to where a motherfucker would be like, wow, this guy, what this guy right here saying is, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't about what I'm saying. It's about what's out there. Margie. Thank you for coming, Margie. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. When you come through. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you for stopping through. Showing your boy some love. Because, <clears throat> you know, I've just been... I've been really tripping because I've been hearing so many... I've been hearing so many different aspects of where hip-hop started and you know what i'm saying who did who started hip-hop and all this shit i'm like lord have mercy you hear that re-educate the educate in the background yeah and then i mean the etymology the etymology of the n-word people scared to say nigga they don't want to know you know what i'm saying people don't people really don't know where the word come from but krs1 you feel me? Hip hop, hip hop teacher from the Bronx tells us where the N word come from, where the word nigga come from. You feel me? How they tried to degrade the word, well, not how they tried to, but how they degraded the word. You know what I'm saying? And then they have us thinking that it's a bad word and shit that we don't even want to call each other nigga, but that's totally wrong because niggas greeted niggas with the um you know what i'm saying with the word a whole country was named nigger the river nigger you see what i'm saying people said niger or niger but that's not that's not that's not the proper way degraded the word and yeah they try to get us to believe that it's not a it's not a good word but if people read and do they research that's why i tell people do your diligent research don't just listen to what i say but i ain't lying to you yet i ain't got no reason to lie to you i ain't got a lot of kick it. you feel me shout out to sip the shocker for that but no i ain't got no reason to lie to you i ain't got a lot to you i'm trying to tell you what god love for real some truth some true shit and everybody ain't gonna like to hear that everybody don't want to hear the truth 
They say the truth hurts. I mean, of course, if it's the truth and it hurts, then sometimes, yeah, it's going to hurt you. But we need to know it. And then when you have these other people that be coming on, talking about shit, like people say, where you think hip hop started at, bro? I mean, <clears throat> as far as you know about hip hop, as far as anybody, as far as y'all know about hip hop, what y'all think? Where y'all think hip hop started? You know what I'm saying? Who started hip hop? Foundation of Black Americans, of course. You feel me? And I'm gonna stick to that until somebody can show me otherwise that some other culture or people started hip hop or rap at per se. You feel me? They weren't rapping in Africa, nigga. If they was, I ain't got no um. No footage of that shit, you feel me? Way, way back in the day, you know what I'm saying? As as far as we know, they could have been rapping back in the goddamn 1600s, for all we know. You know what I'm saying? But for a certain group of people to come up these days and talking about they started this shit, really it's like a slap in the face to black people. And I'm here to say, hey, y'all need to cut that shit short because I don't know if y'all saw the interview what Hispanic dudes made Tiger take his shit down because they said that he was disrespecting them. But then you got amigos or um, you got Hispanic people be calling each other niggas and you know what I'm saying, calling black people niggas and shit too. So, hey, respect that. You need to respect that. If you got damn... If you don't want a black person to be disrespectful to you by you being a Hispanic or whatever, then don't be disrespectful to them. I mean, that's just flat out. Don't be disrespectful to no damn body. That's just the moral of the story. But when you being disrespectful and when you get that disrespect back at you, then don't, don't go crying wolf and shit. That's all I'm saying. Just don't go crying wolf like that dude Gil or whoever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that they did to Tiger, I ain't, that was crazy too. Cause if I was him, I'd have been like, you know, hey, it's just a rap thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Or cause you got, cause some Hispanics took offense to the, the fat Mexican sitting on the couch with the low rider outside. Yeah. Shit, I bet I know they beat his ass. Cat William got his ass up out of there. If he didn't, he should have. Because, like I say, I don't, I don't the disrespect. Don't just don't be disrespectful, dog. And then sometimes we allow the disrespect because we don't know any better. But as you learn, when you learn and you know better, you do better. And I really wasn't going to be on live that long anyway. Because it was a lot of, it's a lot of other stuff too that I really, what'd you say, bro? Cat did and people were saying Cat should have apologized and Cat went on CNN and said, I ain't, exactly. I wouldn't apologize, shit. Fuck, man. And like I said, when I be seeing disclaimer for the profanity and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. But I already got it. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, not made for kids. I guess, I guess people don't want to listen because, um, I don't know, you know? I really don't give a damn if they want to listen or not, but what I'm telling you is real shit, okay? It's real shit. And people that, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. The truth triggers. Yeah, it really do, man. And, and dude, I was like, whoa, he was going in. He was going hard, too. He was like, he was hurt by that shit. It was, it was, I was like, wow. The truth does trigger, bro. 
Shout out Tanya D. Now, look. So much shit, man. And another thing that I don't, I don't like when people be talking about rappers and shit. People get mad but rap. Mad but rap about stereotypes and playing into them. Isn't that the... Exactly. That's just crazy. I'm like, dude, if you mad... The thing is that they were saying that um, gangster rap was the reason that gangster rap was the reason that um, people coming into the community being disrespectful because we call ourselves niggas. But see, then I was trying to explain to the dude that look, man, it's a reason for that. Okay, it's not like motherfuckers. Woke up one morning and said, you nigga, we gonna call you nigga. No, the word came from somewhere. It's an actual country. N-I-G-E-R. Them people said that was nigga. They weren't talking about no Niger and Niger and all that shit. You feel me? So what? I don't understand. And then a lot of black Americans over here today, they get caught up in trying to make they shit. They try to make they shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about me, 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 but no, bro. No, it ain't all about you, you, you. If you're going to speak the facts, come with the real facts, okay? <sighs> I bet y'all never... Bro, have you ever heard... Let me ask you something. Have y'all ever heard of this group called the Joe... The Ju, oh, damn, I can't even say them no more. The Joe... The Jubilaires... The Jubilaires, Jubilaires. You ever heard of them? J Diz, what's up? Y'all ever heard of the hit that thumbs up too, J Diz? On the way in. Yeah, you heard of them, right? 1946. They was talking about Noah. But they was rapping. Paper Chase Me, what up? Appreciate you, appreciate you for coming, bro. Right. The Jubilaires, right, right, right. See, I knew you knew. And and it's killing, it, it's crazy, bro, how people be talking about rappers and shit. I mean, I understand that a lot of rappers of today are fucked up because the industry got them fucked up and the industry is controlling the, um, the outlook of hip hop and shit. And it's fucked up. Okay, about to drop a Nas beat, that's what's up. And then, uh, hey, I'm just up here, paper chasing me, trying to explain to folks about hip hop, where it, where hip hop started. You feel me? And a lot of people got the wrong idea of when it started. They really do. They don't. Everybody keeps saying the '70s, the '70s. I thought the '70s too. I really did until I heard some shit from 1946. So, them brothers was rapping back then. You feel me? Rap didn't start with uh, whatchamacallit? Exactly. In the 40s, in the 40s, man. The fucking 40s. Not the 70s or the 80s like people think the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s. No. Niggas was rapping in the 40s and the 50s, man. So for these stupid ass niggas, I'm calling them stupid ass niggas. If they wasn't, if they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't know. Rappers blame the program ideology, the industry, through the system created for its current state. Yeah. But they exercising what they do by freedom of choice. Exactly. It, it, it. And then for people to, for people to be coming out saying. The shit that they be saying and actually believing that hey, they right, but they not doing the re they not doing the research. They not doing the research. Yeah, exactly. They not doing the research, bro. And then for them to just criticize N.W.A. saying that N.W. the gangster rap. No, the gangster rap wasn't goddamn. The gangster rap didn't. No, no, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna say that gangster rap fucked up the, um, fucked up the rap. I'm not gonna say that because 
when ND, when NWA came out and the raps that they were the shit that they was rapping about was some some shit that they was going through. We saw it. Everybody that grew up in that era, they saw it. You feel me? That fuck, fuck the police. Coming straight from the underground, a young nigga got it bad because I'm brown. Nigga felt that shit all the way over here, down south. You feel me? Because the police was over here fucking niggas up like that. Yeah, them young kids. I ain't gonna blame the kids. It's the industry. The industry that put that shit in them kids. You feel me? And a lot of shit started at home. Shit started at the house, bro. And then my thing to them people who keep talking shit about gangster rap and, and all that type of rap, stop listening to that shit. If you don't like it, stop listening to that shit. Just don't sit there and blame them dudes for that shit. You got, you got control of your house. When I was little, and I was listening to NWA and 2 Live Crew and all that shit, my mama didn't want me listening to that shit. Drill, yeah, drill music. They say that drill music is kill music. That's, that's some, that drill music, that's just gangster shit. Like gang culture type shit. That ain't no fucking hip hop. That, that, that ain't shit hip hop about that. That's, it's music, you know what I'm saying? Because they making music out of the shit, but people got to understand. Yeah, pussy money. You ever heard the song Pussy Weed and Alcohol? It seems to satisfy us all. Who made that song? Scarface. So, I mean, niggas, and niggas, shh. Pussy Weed and Alcohol. See, Scarface was talking about it on a whole different level. Huge difference between a hood nigga and a street nigga. Exactly. It, it really is. It really is. And people don't even... It's so, it's so much. They, boy, I need this live right here to go viral. If, if I don't know if I could put the right tags on it so the right people can see it. Because ain't nobody going to see it but the folks that's just up in here and a few more other people that YouTube let's see it. You feel me? And then, you know, that's why I said share this shit out, man. I haven't even begun to... Start showing y'all the clips and shit right now. We just listening to Rob Allbanks in the background. Now, I mean, you you don't hear me talking about no no bitches. You you, you feel me? I might have said it in that song right there, but that was the truth. What up, though, Big Rice? What's happening? Well, you know, Rice, you seen the title, man. I'm trying to explain to a bunch of motherfuckers that that, that ain't got a clue, but them folks they ain't here. They not here listening. They somewhere else listening to some bullshit that somebody else spewing about hip hop. Let me ask you something, Big Rice. You a, you a music connoisseur. I know you fucks with that music. When you think the first rap was um put out? When you think the first rap came out? You feel me? When you, when you think hip hop or rap started? You know what I'm saying? And then we'll, we'll go from there. Now, back to this this etymology of the N word, the word nigga. Oh, I got clips on that shit too, so hey. <laughs> I'ma show them hoes too. And I'ma I'm make sure I said a disclaimer because I'm using this for teaching purposes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get no money off of this shit. 107, disclaimer. Copyright, fair, about 1940, right? But a white woman gets credit for it. That's what I'm saying. These motherfucking people mean they need to stop that shit. You right, Rice, in the 1940s, 1940s and 50s. There's a bunch of other groups other than the Jubilaires that was out there. I just read this shit last night. But the Jubilaires is what they got on YouTube. And they was 1946, talk about Noah. They did the song Noah. You feel me? So a lot of people that's in here already know about this shit. Hip-hop didn't start in the motherfucking 70s, and I wish people would stop saying that stupid-ass shit. And you got motherfuckers... It's in their fifties that still believe in this shit. That hip hop started in the fucking seventies, late seventies and eighties. Niggas was rapping in the motherfucking forties, man. I wish people would stop being so fucking stupid. Really? Cause you know what? I get every time somebody somebody got a problem, they want to go to blame. They want to go blaming rappers and all rappers and shit. That right there was what really pissed me off. 
the uneducated will fall for anything. Man, they man, what you say? And if I if I didn't rap, well no, I still would be pissed off because I get tired of hearing that shit. Motherfucker, I listen to rap music. You know what I'm saying? I listen to that shit. Not only do I do it, but I listen to it. And then you got the you got the you got to know how to listen to shit. You feel me? That's why I say in with the good, out with the bullshit. You feel me? Get y'all listening to me. Hey, if y'all hear me, y'all share this shit out. Okay? I need y'all to share this shit out so that the people that need to hear it can hear it. And if anybody want to come and talk to me, come on. Feel free. You feel me? Feel free. Right now, I'm just doing direct live so I can get this shit out there. So... People will stop doing that stupid shit and stop saying that dumb shit. Motherfucker talking about, um, look, we got all kind of, we got North, South, East, West. You feel me? Shit is different on all them sides, but some things are all coincide. Some shit all go together. You feel me? Okay, true enough, out there on the West Coast, they got gangs and shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got we got gangs in the South, but we ain't, our gangs ain't like their gangs out there. You feel me? It's a whole, it's different. Now, when they all do, exactly. Now, if you got, um, like they was talking about the Hispanics saying, and I don't want to just be jumping on the Hispanics like that because I got a lot of motherfucking Hispanics that I fucks with. You feel me? I fucks with a lot of people, so you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm this right here, I'm still black first. You feel me? <laughs> Motherfuckers can't understand that shit. I know who the fuck my people are. You feel me? And just because, just because your ass black, that don't mean you righteous motherfucker. Because there's some fucked up black motherfuckers out there too. Short bus pull up. What up though, short bus? Appreciate you for coming in the building, bro. I seen you coming and thing. Keep doing your thing, my nigga. You feel me? See what I'm saying? The word nigga. The etymology of the word nigga. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Short Buzz, share this shit out. Because it's some people that need to hear this shit, man. Short Buzz, when you think hip-hop came out? When you think hip-hop started, Short Buzz? Let me ask you that. You feel me? Support the wave. Shout out to all the people in the chat, in the live. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I get. Well, I guess what really brought this live on is, I I guess I got tired of hearing shit about rappers. Rappers this, rappers that, rappers. Th Motherfuckers talking about rappers don't even know when the fuck hip hop started. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Then you talking about, um, we just need to stop saying the n word. Well, you know, I thought like that too. You feel me? Stop saying it. That's because I didn't know. I didn't know where the shit came from. You know what I thought? The white man kept... The, I thought the white man made the word up. You feel me? I thought the white man made the word nigga up. I didn't know the shit was a fucking country. Pick the game. I didn't know it was that country. N-I-G-E-R. In Africa. It's spelled N-I-G-E-R. But they pronounced it nigga. Now, when you get into... To, um words and shit people might want to say it's called niger the french say niger but the old the old africans actually from the country they say nigga so who you gonna believe you gonna believe some motherfucking english dude that ain't from the place that then took the word from what it really meant and called it something else and then added another letter in the word to degrade the word, to degrade the people of that country. Man, y'all better motherfucking wake y'all. Thank you, bro. I'm just trying to teach short bus. I ain't trying to preach. I ain't trying to preach it to him. I'm just trying to teach a little something, something. You feel me? I ain't even showed the videos yet, short bus, so a nigga can actually hear that what I'm saying is some real. Matter of fact, hold on. While I got eight people up in here, eight billion people in here, hold on, y'all. This is what I'm finna do. I'm finna go and show this shit because a lot of people, a lot of people don't, don't really understand 
by me just telling this shit. I got the, I got the, I got the show. A lot of people like to see shit. You feel me? Y'all forgive me for squinching because I'm blind. Well, I ain't blind, but. God damn. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get it right in a minute, y'all. So don't go nowhere because y'all need some shit that need to be seen. The etymology. The etymology of the N-word, y'all. Y'all don't hear me. Then hip-hop didn't start in the fucking 70s. So look, please stop believing that and tell your friends to tell other friends that foundational black Americans started this shit, okay? Okay, they might have been singing... They might have been singing and dancing and jamming in Africa too a long time ago. You feel me? But they didn't start hip hop. All right. My main is Lenny. Thank you, Lenny, for coming through. Appreciate you. Hold on, y'all. This shit right here is fucking with me because I'm trying to get it to come on up so I can get y'all to see it. Because this gonna be um, it's gonna be a disclaimer, and I'm gonna say a disclaimer under the fair rights use because I'm trying to teach some shit. I'm not using this for no monetary purposes, you feel me? Even though I did monetize the shit, I don't know why, but I wasn't trying to. But damn, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get y'all to hear the shit and stop playing my shit for a minute in the background. Cause, oh yeah, it's going to come up. I'm going to get it to play now. Don't fear not my people. Fear not. Fear not. The TV just acting crazy. Because I must need to put another battery in here or something. Because I... Look at this shit. Hold on, y'all. Damn, three people didn't dip. Three billion people didn't dip. Don't go nowhere. Don't y'all go nowhere. I need y'all to come back and listen to this. It probably was some folks that don't give a damn about black shit. No way. So, I ain't worried about y'all. But, all I say is don't be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? That's all I ask you. If you don't disrespect me, I won't disrespect you. If you disrespect me, guess what? I'm coming for that ass. And if I'm disrespectful, please tell me, hey, Duke, you being disrespectful. You feel me? Rob, don't be disrespectful. I'm like, okay, okay, all right. Say, hey, if I'm being disrespectful, then I don't mean to be disrespectful to you. But, uh, okay, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm going to show this shit, y'all. Hey, yeah, let me get my search on. What I said, the etymology of the N-word. I want to see that first. Oh, Lord, hold on. Clear. Yeah, man, because a lot of people don't... A lot, And that rap shit, man, I'm like, golly. I'm not just a rapper, my nigga. I can rap, okay? I got bars. I do other shit other than just rap. So people that do that shit, put everybody in a category like that, that's what really irks my nerves with some people is when they put everybody into one category. You feel me? You can't do that. Because they keep talking about all these rappers. All these rappers. Nah, motherfucker, if you don't like the music, stop listening to the shit. Really? These music... This rap got our children all messed up. No, nah, it ain't the rap, niggas. Teach your children in the house. You know what I'm saying? Teach your children in the house what they need to be doing. Oh, Lord, I can't even spell. Into mile. Into I got it right here. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me put my glasses on. Crafty Leo, what's up? Trucking with Real Rap, what's up? What's good? Oh, Appreciate y'all for coming through. Ain't that real rap? Etymology, yeah. I'm I got it up on my screen now. I'm talking about the etymology of the N word. You hear me? A lot of people don't want to hear it or listen to it. And then I was talking about rappers and shit, motherfuckers. You can't categorize all rappers into one group. Please be specific. DJ Grass, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for coming. So if y'all not connected, y'all can do that. I'm listening the first time in your live. Let's get it. Okay, truck over real rap. Let me ask you a question. How many of y'all, when do y'all think that rap started? When y'all think hip hop started? That was the question. You feel me? That was the question. That was the question I asked. When do y'all think hip hop started? 
I remember, uh -uh, uh -uh, somebody said something in the 80s. Yep. I remember when rap was criticized in 1980s. Yeah, DJ, it was criticized in the 80s. That ain't when it started, though. Rap been criticized ever since rap been rap, man. You know why? Because black man, black man started that shit. Every time, anytime a black man do anything, it's always got to get criticized. And I ain't lying. 1955, 1946, Crafty Leo. When the hip hop started, I'd say the early, what, 30s? Early 30s, maybe. You might be right. Early 30s. All I know is the 40s and the 50s. That's when I know it. So if it's something in the 30s, then you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to knock it until I look and see for myself. In the late 80s and 90s, right. But DJ, have you ever heard hip-hop from the 40s and the 50s? Did you know about that? Did you know about that? Did you? You know what I'm saying? I keep saying the Jubilees because they were most common but it's a whole bunch more a whole bunch more y'all pmc love from trucking yeah etymology of the n word that's what i'm trying to get to right now y'all the etymology of the n word damn what's going on my i think my um i might need some more batteries for my remote because it's shit <laughs> going so slow Etymology of the N word. Oh, yeah, we gonna watch that, y'all. Yeah, there was a doco I watched on how Afro-Americans were already doing unusual dances. In the 40s and 50s, it was proto-rap, I suppose. It was actual rap. I'm gonna find a baby on here before he re- They was rapping in the 30s for sure. Okay. In the <laughs> okay. For sure. They was. Hey, drop a link. Find me a link and drop it so that I can pull it up. Because that's what I'm finna do right, right for this uh, etymology thing right here, y'all. A lot of people don't know about KRS-One. A lot of people like KRS-One. A lot of people don't like KRS-One. But KRS-One is the teacher. And... The shit that he says, if you got them do the research on the shit, nine times out of ten, he don't be lying. Because I rashly, I tried to check the nigga on this N-word shit. And they said, nah, bruh, don't do it until you research the shit for yourself. <clears throat> and y'all know what? I did. And I shut my head. I shut my mouth. Because I, I was going up and I was going to get my ass toe up. Okay, that's a short right there, trucking. Despite being Italian, I like my rap, my hip hop. But uh, above all, my bass. What can I say? I love the bass. Ain't that wrong with that, bro? Ain't that? No, ain't no. DJ, don't get it twisted, bro. Ain't nobody saying nothing about you. Run that short, Rob. Okay, trucking. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me get one of my runners to run it, and then I can see it. Oh yeah, I got that video. That's the 40s. That's that that song right there called Noah by the Jubilees. 1946 trucking with real rap. Yeah, real rap, yeah. Nineteen nineteen forty six. Good job though. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let me see y'all. I'm I'm almost there. They, the N word, the N word, the end of my oh, that's okay, that's the one I wanted to hear. KRS one on the end and Mike Epps, the one with him and Mike Epps. Have y'all seen that? Strange, cause see, it's so many, it's so many, it's so many, um, so many videos on the word nigga. You feel me? Where it came from? But don't don't none of them go back. We all got one reference. Nineteen forty six. Can we find another one? Nothing from that. 
That's all I found, 1946, and a bunch of names. That moonwalk that Michael Jackson made famous. Exactly. Michael Jackson. They was talking about Michael Jackson too. Doing by street dancers in the 60s and 70s. Probably was. Michael Jackson made it famous. But you know, them street dancers had to get it from somewhere. Oh, let me see y'all. Hold on. Let me get back to what I was. Entomology. Of the N word. KRS One and Mike Epps. Yeah. See, this right here really needs to be um, heard because a lot of people, and it's a clarify of a lot of shit. A lot of people might not want to believe. I don't care about the scandal. Michael Jackson had a massive cultural impact. He was big, especially in 1986. Of course, Michael Jackson, foundation of black American. That's my whole point. People be trying to steal our shit, man. That's what I'm getting at, DJ. People been have you seen videos of people talking about um Latins started hip Latins um were were the creators of hip hop. My thing is, how come everybody always talking shit about black people? But always trying to do shit what black people do. I mean, whether they doing it consciously or unconsciously. Can I mean, I'm just saying, though. Damn. Peace, love, and reparations all day, every day. KRS1 and Mike Epps. Peace, love, and reparations is to the people. But yeah, y'all, I'm... That really kind of... That made me do this live because people keep talking about, oh, shit, y'all. It's on. Y'all ready? Hold on. I want, I'm going to let y'all see it. This right here is a fair act. I'm going to be talking shit in the background, too, at the same time so that they can't rob all banks. What's popping, my dude? What's up, Miss Rodriguez? You just can't. I'm just going to show a video of Miss Rodriguez, and I want you to... Um, Peep the game. That's all. Let me get up here, y'all, so y'all can uh, you see it. The true meaning of the the true meaning of the N word. Y'all see that? The true meaning of the N word. Y'all ready? Peep the game. That's three three minutes. Y'all hear that? Disclaimer for the video now. Fair X. You did? You saw this clip? So you already know what I'm talking about then, real rap. You already know what I'm talking about. See, this shit right here need to be shared, y'all. Disclaimer for this video. 107, title 107, because this is right here is being used for teaching purposes only. Miss Rodriguez. Okay, Mimi. Y'all watched it too. <laughs> well, let's watch it again, y'all. And I'm going to talk shit. I'm going to talk shit to it. If there's one, one word I hate, it's the N word. Well, see, why do you hate that word, DJ? You watch this video and you listen, you'll understand why it's not to be hated if you black. Right. You get called that every day. No, it's it's derogatory, DJ, because the white colonizers made it derogatory. Well, don't don't worry. Don't worry, Mimi. We're going to get you um, unconfused right today. At least we're going to try to. If you got any questions and if I can help you, just check the, check the video out. Because, because, uh, because 
Oh, yeah, I know about the Dago. I had a homeboy. He was Italian. D'Agostino. D'Agostino. You know some D'Agostinos? He, he he told me about the Dagos and shit like that. But I wouldn't call him a Dago. You feel me? Because that's that's disrespectful to Italians. My homies call me the N-word. We joke about it. But I ain't doing that no ish like that. You shouldn't be joking. It ain't no joking word. D'Agostino. Yep. Famous name. Great motor. Oh, okay. Yeah. D'Agostino. Yeah. D'Agostino. I forgot his first name, but he was, yeah, he was Italian. Italian guy I met. Bizdak Inde. Me too, Rice. All right, you heard it. If you're not seeing the word nigga, if you are. Now, did you hear the first thing of that? Am I supposed to like sit down? Did y'all hear that? The first, the first, the first little thing he said. Niger. Okay. Oh yeah, KRS always be going in. Really, me, me. Me, me. If you, it, I could see if it was a bunch. If you was around a whole bunch of white dudes, and and, and all y'all was saying was niggas, but still, me, me. When they calling you a nigga, if you not black, it's use it's it's derogatory. Flat, flat out, it's derogatory. You feel me? And a lot of people don't get that. People don't get that. You know what I'm saying, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to change your. Uh, when I was asked to speak here, I'm not trying to change your mind or your thoughts. I'm just here to let you know what the, what the real is. You feel me? So when people say shit and they don't know what they talking about, it is what it is. You're right. When people say that shit and they don't know what they talking about. Because I, I, at, at one point in time myself, I was like, man, I ain't going to say the word nigga no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stop saying that shit because, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was derogatory because that's what I was taught. I'm a quarter white and a quarter black and Mexican. So you a hot dog. <laughs> you a hot dog, Mimi. You mix with everything. But I mean, saying, when you do, that's why it's important to do your lineage, people. Find out where you came from. Find out who your folks is. Where they all the way back in the... Do your genealogy. You feel me? Somebody told me to do my genealogy. I do it. I did it. I spit in the tube. But, you know, come to find out, when you spit in that tube, it's, it, you got to do a little bit more research. Because just spitting in the tube ain't... They'll tell you all kind of shit. You feel me? So you got to watch that shit. When you paying for this shit, you got to be careful about that too. I's a nigga. She's a nigga. We some niggas. He's a nigga. Wouldn't you like to be a nigga too? Oh, yeah, the N-word got a torrid history. Of course it does. I mean, people, the N-word is just what the man just said. The shit came from the country. Those people were calling themselves what they were, where they were from. Why I got to be a hot dog, though? Because a hot, you know what a hot dog is? I ain't trying to be funny, but do you know what a hot dog is? A hot dog just mixed up, mixed, the mixed up part of the pig that's left over. Like the the snout, the tongue, the ear, the tail, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hot dog ain't nothing but the junk. I'm just messing with you, Mimi. Ain't no little loss. I ain't trying to be disrespectful to you. Let me disclaim that right now. But yeah, that video that I just showed, I have the fair right to use that in teaching. You feel me? Because because of the disclaimer, the fair rights, the fair rights act use, I can use the motherfucker to get my point across. That made it better. <laughs> Crafty Leo, you a trip. The snout, the tail, well, better throw those frozen hot dogs, yeah, in the bin. But I know my homie's joking. 
Yeah, they joking with you. It's just a respect, you know what I'm saying? It's just a respect thing. I had a white girl that called me her nigga, and I had to check her real quick. I told her, you know what I'm saying? And I was humble about this shit. I said, don't say that. Don't call me your nigga, because that shit right there don't even fly. You a white broad, then you calling me a nigga? Mm-mm. I'm from the South. I'm from Alabama. So that shit don't fly. Not with me. But then a lot of us have fucked it up because you got a lot of white girls out here that be calling niggas niggas and shit. And don't be getting their head knocked the fuck off. Which is wrong. Yeah. Because I'm going to check a bitch quick. Hey. Watch that shit. And then I had a, an instance, well, the white bitch I knew, I don't mean to call her no bitch, but the white chick that I knew I was working with, she called my wife a bitch ass nigga, you know what? And then by me, my mouth so fucked up, I couldn't reach out and touch the bitch. Me either. Like, who would you calling a nigga? I'd be ready to pop the hell off. I understand. A couple of my ex-girls used to call me De Niro, Corleone, and Robert Baggio. Oh, well, as long as the love kept flowing. I understand, DJ. I already know what you're talking about. You feel me? Ain't no love lost. Shit. People don't realize. You got to know who your friends really are. Mexicans call me Gooey. You feel me? Everybody got nicknames. We call everybody nicknames. A lot of people have come to accept that shit. But, like I said, if you're not black and you call me a nigga, even if you're using it as a term of endearment, I'm going to have to let you know, hey, bro, mm -mm, or whatever you are, don't do that shit. And it's just not... So, is it bad to call black people or in, or is... That's what we are. Are we only to call other black people that? You know what, Crafty? Technically, if you are from the country of N-I-G-E-R, which was pronounced nigger, as you heard by KRS-One, then feel free to call all them niggas niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because them is your peoples. If they not your peoples and you calling them niggas, then I ain't never heard a Mexican call someone gooey. <laughs> I ain't heard Mexicans call motherfuckers all kind of shit. You feel me? You just have to learn the language and know what the hell they saying. Okay, gotcha. I'm from Florida. I'm from Alabama. Lee, I'm from Alabama. So you from the South, I'm from the South. So I already, I know how it is in Florida. In Florida. It's like, now these days, you got a lot of Latinos, Latins. I'm a Latin, you got a lot of Latins. I would suggest you say that. Kind of like the N word. You know? A lot of people try to take it out of their vocabulary. What is the, what? It's confusing is there is a country. Right. That's what I'm talking about, DJ. That That is where it came from. Amazing how one extra. No, see, that extra G made it derogatory. Exactly. Exactly. How that one G changed the whole meaning of the, of the word. The one G. One G. And that's because the colonizers were trying to de degrade us. Degrade our people. Or degrade those people. People call me pillow. <laughs> Real rap. You ain't never lied, bro. Super swole. You ever seen a Miss Olympia content? Dude, she was melanin from back. Yeah. White head, everything else. Yeah. Uh-huh. You don't let nobody call you that. I understand, Crafty. I understand. I understand completely. Flacco. That's slim. Order let Flacco, as long as they don't call you my yate, then you cool. Because then they being uh, racist to your ass. Then they being racist. 
the civilization originated in Egypt. Egypt is in Africa. Right. Egypt is in Africa. And they and those people are called Egyptians. Tita my Yang salad bowl, welcome. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. And that's what I'm saying. Everybody, it's like 67 countries in Africa. Everybody over there ain't called niggas. You feel me? That's just them people from that country. They call them, that's what they are, not the dudes. The girls don't talk like that. Shit. Shit. Yes, they do. Right? <laughs> yes, the fuck they do. BG Queen here, friend. Still at first ads. Okay, Tita. Thank you. Thank you for watching the ads. Yeah. Yeah, they do, Rice. <laughs> she, you just, see what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit that we don't know, man. How these, how people be in their own cultures when they, with their own people, man. But I hear a lot of people call their own people the N-words. I be, yeah, exactly. They call their own people the N-word. Nigga, it's not a bad word, people. Nigga, it's a fucking country, okay? That's the whole point of what the brother was trying to explain. Yeah, Ethiopia. Ethiopian, do you know, DJ, do you know what an Ethiopian king is called? Right. Niggas. Niggas, niggas. Okay, so it's in West Africa. People need to read. Yeah, they really do. They read. They need to read with a little bit more understanding. But not only that, they just really need to read for real. Er Eritrea niggas. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what they don't they don't. Negus is not pronounced Niji, Niji, you know what I'm saying? It ain't got that French shit. It's Negus, Negus, Negus. This my thing. Why do y'all say the N-word when y'all be going off on each other? I like, oh, yeah. Because it's when people be doing that shit, that's because they're being ignorant. They're not used, they just saying, they just saying the shit. Nigga, 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 please, since you own the dick, why don't you drop to your knees? You feel me? I mean... You just saying some shit then. When you angry and you saying the shit, that's just out of you saying the shit out of anger. It's just a word. It's a word. And it has meaning. Know the meaning of the word. That's that's what I'm saying. People don't people don't think common sense today is at an all-time low, y'all. We shouldn't even this is some shit we shouldn't even be discussing. I shouldn't even have to come on live. You know what I'm saying? Official Jamia, what's up? I shouldn't even have to come on live to explain this shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I hear people, people, and then they be acting like they just so fucking right. They just so right. They don't, they like, they know what the fuck they talking about. That's why I said with this hip hop shit. The Roman Emperor Septimus Severus was African. They had black Europeans, um, DJ. There were black Europeans. Yeah, Germans and shit too. You feel me? So uh, people, a lot of people that claim they know history, they don't know. A lot of them don't know what the fuck they be saying, man. This shit is deep. Rightfully missed. Exactly. But they be mad joking. But yeah, I mean, it's just... Two niggas arguing over some shit. It's just two niggas arguing. Me, me, that's all. It's just two niggas arguing over some shit. That's all. And you just hope that they don't get to shooting at each other. Where he came from is not relevant. He had the most ability. That's the problem with racism. They, they block capable people from... Exactly, DJ. Exactly. Exactly, DJ. Thank you. You understand. You understand. You you do. Right. The word slave is from Slavic. It's a Slavic word. Right. Oh, what a surf is? Now, 
when I was in school, they they a serf was like a poor person, from my understanding now, from what if if I'm saying it right, a serf is like a poor person. That's what I I believe. That's what I learned. I wasn't really paying attention in them classes, but some shit I did listen to. So that way, when I can go back. No, there'll be more than that. I mean, mm -hmm. Exactly. See the two G's in there? The two G's. Anything with two G's in it is degradable. You feel me? It's degradable. It's degrading. So when you say nigger, when, and then... Serfs and Slavs are congruent. I've done bills on it. Yeah. Same thing. So I, I was pretty much in the genre of being correct. You know what I'm saying? I may have been not totally technical about the definition, but a serf is, from, from my understanding, is like a commoner, a poor person. You, you feel me? Somebody who is low on the totem pole. Yeah, and then you know what I'm saying? I'm not a fucking... Look, y'all, I'm not a goddamn... I'm just a common, um, I got a degree in common sense, a master's in that. You feel me? I ain't got no fucking, I went to college. You see what I'm saying? I dropped out of that shit. You feel me? I ain't got no degree. I just got common sense. I know how to read. I know how to understand shit, what I read. And then I do research to make shit, you feel me, add up to where the shit makes sense. I ain't out here jumping from limb to limb trying to make this shit makes sense make this tree limb fit with that tree limb and the shit ain't even the same tree. You feel me? Proud Mix, you said, you said something. Drop the gym. Search at the code, yeah, that are bound under the feudal system to work. Kind of like indentured, indentured servitude, right? If someone is disrespectful or being dis disgraceful towards you or your people or joking or just showing you love by the end word, just be like, hey, yo, don't cross me. By calling me the N-word. Serfs are slaves. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Flat out. But see, a lot of people put too much emphasis on that shit. You mean, and it's not... That's why I said when we got easy shit, people be... They, they can't be sold from the land... They're tied to the land for life. Oh, that's kind of like indentured servant. After they serve out the seven years, they free. But no, because because an indentured servant can't never go back home. They have to move. Once they finish doing their servitude, after they free, they have to leave. They can't they can't stay there no more. They got to go somewhere else. That's that's the difference in the indentured servant. After they finish their servitude, they got to dip. They can't even stay down no more. They can't stay down no more. Got to go. If the master's still alive, you know what I'm saying? Whoever you working for, after your, your time up, yeah, right. That's the difference. The surf is the surf forever. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just it. I live in the hood. I, I hear the N word all the time, but you do that. Corner stores. Well, that's just your in um. That's just your environment, Mimi. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna hear that? That's your environment. Nigga say nigga all day. Nigga say nigga we cool, but cracker say nigga nigga not the fuck up. See what I'm saying? I never be the last nigga. Cause I might have to beat your ass, nigga. <laughs> I mean, you see how everybody say nigga. Everybody say nigga. Everybody say nigga. But see, the thing about that is, they done made the shit so comfortable to a lot of people just say the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people been saying it. But they don't know what they be saying. A lot of people know what they be saying. But then some people be trying to be slick and, and just saying the shit. You feel me? Got a lot of people like that. They should have asked the nigga what they wanted to replace the word with. Probably wouldn't be the N word. I mean, 
Them people, that's where they come from. They come from nigger, the country. Nigger is a country. That's, what's up, Brian Lynn? Nigger is a country. First of all, nigger is a country, y'all. You got to remember that. See, we getting up, we, when we get out of, we start to get off course with the shit. See what I'm saying? Nigger is a country. So remember that. If you from nigger, guess what? You a mother nigger. If you from the country, nigger, what is what they call Niger or Niger, you're a Niger or you are a Niger, but Nigerians, you see what I mean? That ain't got nothing to do with them. You see them? If you come from, if you from the country, Nigger, guess what? You a nigger. If you an Ethiopian king, you a niggas. Niggas, nigga. So, so I mean, yeah. Technically, we are all probably descendants of Africa, according to the archaeology. A logical record. The first man was an Asiatic black man. Now, when I say that, people are gonna be like, "Oh, hmm, hmm." DNA testing has traced back to Southern Africa. Hmm, DNA, DNA testing. To be honest, I've seen dudes say it comfortably in front of white people, and let white people repeat it. It's a real funny style. Exactly. Exactly. Real rap. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. See, they everybody's so hung up on the N-word. Can we just can we just acknowledge the fact that the fucking N-word is a country? There are people who are really niggas because they come from the country of nigger. N I G E R. It's a fucking country in Africa. If you are from that country, then guess what? You cannot escape being a nigga. Now, if I'm some colonial idiot, then I'm trying to I'm gonna be degrading the fuck out of you by calling you a nigger. Nigger, 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 nigger. You feel me? That's because I'm trying to degrade you to make you make your self-esteem low. And that's what they've been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then a lot of a lot of people just from time and time and time on let that shit sink in and they roll with that shit. They roll with that shit instead instead of doing the fucking research. Like I said, we have an Aboriginal population in Australia. True. They are not treated. With, I know. 1965. Yep. It's very stupid. It's real stupid, man. Exactly. They were the original inhabitants of that country in Australia. They call Aborigines. Yeah. Aborigines people, man. Dark, swarthy. The word swarthy means like black. You feel me? I'm not... I don't, look, man. I don't be trying to say this shit just so I can get likes and views on fucking YouTube, man. I be trying to tell people some things and I be trying to tell people off the YouTube in these streets, you feel me? But people look at me like I'm fucking crazy. You know why? Because I'm just some black dude that come from out of nowhere that don't nobody know shit about and ain't never heard of trying to tell somebody the truth about some shit that they already know that they know that they got the people confused about. Then when somebody like me try to come and tell them the actual truth, already in your mind, instantly, this nigga's crazy. 60,000 years, but we think we can do a better job. Fire, flood, land degradation, extinction of native species, all that shit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, y'all. You feel me? PMC man, we had a judge in my town do that. Bitch got hit with a, a tomato at the press conference. <laughs> and see, then I ain't even on restream tonight. Cause I would have um let my you my my Facebook people. You ever seen a Mexican girl do the washing machine? No, I haven't. I haven't. I ain't gonna tell that lie. Mm mm. But I bet she was looking fine as hell doing that shit. But then, but a lot of them can dance though. Shit, do the washing machine. Sit on in a while. So That's the best dance in the world. <laughs> The best dance in the world, y'all. Overrated. And <laughs> real rap says it's overrated. <laughs> clear that out. Let me clear that out. Let me go back over here and rob all bank y'all what I was doing. I don't even listen to Meet Your Ex no more. You feel me? All these these like these big people that's supposed to be um better get up and go make me a sandwich and make sure the toilet box is like twerking 5.0. Real reps say go make him a sandwich. That's what you gonna tell him. Make you a sandwich. Yeah, man. I mean, I heard, I heard, you know, I was just listening. And I'm like, wow. Because what really had pissed me off, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, is when they start talking about them rappers and shit. Like, everybody, it's like, why do you, why you, I'm gonna get off the N-word for a minute and then go back to, um, to the rapping thing. Why is it that these people be, it's like they look up to rappers or some shit. I ain't never understood that. Why are people so mad at the rappers? Because they they out here um talking all this shit that people listening to and doing. You know what? If you didn't listen to that shit, if you you know what I'm saying, if you say it's so fucked up, but you still bumping that shit, listening to it, when Tariq Ate the little Michi cookies. I lost it. No, I ain't see that real rap. I ain't see that. And then, you know what? I don't even follow Tariq Nasheed. Period. You feel me? At all. I mean, I know what it, some of the shit I hadn't heard him before and some shit I agree with. You know what I'm saying? I agree with some of the shit he say. But I don't agree with every fucking thing he say. Just like motherfucker don't agree with everything I say. He only human. He ain't no goddamn God. Well, I, I take that back. We all gods. But dang, come on, man. She said, I'm like, oh, look, I just started watching him again and catch up on this FBA mess. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to keep my ear to the FBA. But then, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got shit in my own city right now. The these motherfuckers around here, man, a lot of these folks ain't ready for this shit. They not because they still stuck on stupid. Man, folks still around here. Talking about some uh, go Alabama fucking football, man. Huh? They too distracted by other shit, y'all. They too they too damn distracted by other shit that's going on, and they they, they really they, they just getting lost in the sauce. And then I have my, some of my own classmates. When I start talking about Alabama, because I was an Auburn fan, y'all. I was an Auburn fan. People act like you can't change. Oh, you still an Auburn? How the fuck you gonna tell me I'm a I man? Fuck Auburn. If they ain't talking about goddamn no reparations and no black agenda and giving a nigga 40 acres and a, and a motherfucking equivalent to a meal, fuck them. Hold on, y'all. Y'all hold that thought. I'll be right back. <clears throat>
She look white, but she might be black, because you know you have black people that look like that. Okay, y'all. Is she? Should have known you ain't seen Michi X because she got a sugar high and got rushed to the ER, fat ass. Damn, real rap. For real? Man, I used to listen to Michi X, though. For real. And, and I ain't going to lie. Some shit Michi X be saying be all right, too. But then it be, it's some shit that she said I don't agree with either. You feel me? I keep saying. Everybody is not always going to agree on shit. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I know real rev. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? These people don't even watch my channel. And if they did, oh well, maybe they'll learn something and stop go and stop and stop with that bullshit and start telling people the truth instead of just trying to tell people what they want to hear to make themselves sound good like they rightly super, you know what I'm saying? And, and then some of them might be out there in the street, right, actually doing the work. If I see you out there on the street and you're doing the work, then I ain't, I can't say shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't say shit about you because you out here doing the fucking work. Okay, real rap. I'm trying to get my music to come back on, y'all. We were, I was in here vibing to some Rob Allbanks. <laughs> Once upon a time in a hood new in a hood near you. My main is Lenny. Thank you. Thank you for the support, my main is Lenny. I appreciate you for being here. Mega love shout out to you. I don't have nothing. I thought I had something here to drink, y'all. Hold on. Where my damn soda go? talk about y'all and rappers and shit the rappers the new rappers man like i be telling people if y'all still listening to mainstream rap something wrong with you and then you gonna keep getting on the internet talking about the shit stop listening to the shit man god damn <laughs> i mean it ain't it ain't hard people put the hate on mute You feel me? I mean, dang. How tall are you? I thought you was about 5'10". What your arm say? I'm about three. Three big rice. DJ. DJ Grass. DJ Grays. 007. The Force. I'm almost 50, bro. So, what you think? I know Ron DMC, Public Enemy, African Bambada, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five, all them. You feel me? All them. I know music. You feel me? I folks with music heavy. I come from a music fa I come from a musical family. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't they wouldn't goddamn like the Jackson Fives, but shit, they they made music. I played, I played the drums in school and shit. You feel me? I'm musically, I got music in me, music flowing through my veins. You feel me? I saw Star Wars in '77 in the theater 17 times. I got a question for you, Robin PMC. How y'all feel when white people repeat the rap lyrics at concerts from a black artist who has the N word throughout their music? I can't stand that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Hold on. Watching Short Bus Live. Short Bus Live. Short Bus would go live when I'm live. I was in this live and go to Short Bus Live. Shit. Because I ain't been in Short Bus Live in a minute. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I don't like this shit. All these white rappers and shit. I can't get jiggy with that shit, bro. I promise. And then when they go to talk saying niggas and shit. If I could reach and choke one motherfuckers, I would. 
Funky Carl Medina, Funky Cole Medina. Cause see, not real rap. It's too. It's like the fucking. It's it's like the the the. The rap music is being flooded with white boys, and they coming out of no fucking well. They ain't talking about shit. They ain't rapping about shit. Not to me, because I ain't white. And then they can never tell me how the fuck to be black, because they'll never be black. So how the fuck can I can't listen to your struggles and and and. You know what I'm saying? Them your struggles. Well, I better not mention Vanilla Ice then. Vanilla Ice wasn't no rapper. I'm talking about Ralph Van Winkle. That fake motherfucker. Vanilla Ice rapping about gangster shit and wasn't no gangster. It was a rich dude. Like, uh, what's that movie? Malibu Most Wanted. Some shit like that. That's what Vanilla Ice was. He was Malibu Most Wanted. Luther Campbell called him out. <laughs> shit, you feel me? But real rap, yeah. And then I know I didn't talk to some white dudes that be trying to rap on other sites and shit. They talking about they fans first. You a fan of the shit first. You a fan of the, of the of the music first. Okay, I can respect that. Then you 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 come and rap. You know what I'm saying? If you got skills and you can use your words, then hey, rap on, man. Rap on, like, um, I say, like, Mercules, I heard him rap. I don't know his background, but from what I hear, he he, he was decent as far as a rapper go. Guest in the house of hip-hop, Lord Jamar. Lord Jamar, boy, he, he, Lord Jamar, he crazy. Be rad yeah, exactly. Be rad shit like that. Eminem, I don't fuck with Eminem. You feel me? I don't. I don't. I don't know because when they, and I, you know who, I blame Dr. Dre for that shit because they brought Eminem out like he was the white Jesus of fucking hip hop or some shit. Okay, he came, he was, he lived in the hood. Eight Mile, I ain't never been to Eight Mile, you feel me? Eight Mile to me could be somewhere like, uh, let me see a, a good description. Like uh, where the where the poor blacks and poor whites live at together, some shit like that. You feel me? And then all of a sudden, the dude he has some skills and he, I don't even know how that shit even transpired. Somebody speaking the truth never ever said N was a top rapper. Bro was a weirdo from the jump. Exactly. And, and a lot of people don't know that when he was he was dating a black girl and he dogged her the fuck out, called her all kind of niggas and bitches. So fuck Eminem. Okay. Shit. <laughs> He wouldn't be shit if Dr. Dre then wasn't co-signing the nigga. He'd be just like B. Rad. And then look, I'ma say, I'm not gonna diss the white rappers because if they wanna rap, they can rap. You feel me? But when you starting to rap about Shit that I done been through, that my people done been through, and you know what I'm saying? No, uh-uh, 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 uh no, I can't get jiggy with that shit. Now, if you was one, like one of them Beastie Boys, that all they talk about is drinking beer and shit, okay. Now, the Beastie Boys were some real white rappers. They were real white rappers. You feel me? Those, them the only rappers I see. That's white. It's the Beastie Boys. All these other motherfuckers after them. After them. I don't see no more. I, I don't see no more. I don't. This side culture will profit off it. Exactly. Exactly. You see them? Uh-uh. Hell no. And this new, this new dude. This new dude. Who, Jack Hollow. Where the fuck he come from? Where he even come from, y'all? They done made this dude a superstar. But then you got people like, um, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name some rappers from my city. You feel me? That's good. That's good as hell. You feel me? That I listen to in my city, like, like uh, Fat Boy Bucci. I don't know if y'all ever heard of him. 
Y'all need to listen to that boy. That boy got balls. Fat Boy Slim. I don't even know Fat Boy Slim. I heard of Fat Boy Slim. Wasn't he the white dude that um sung some kind of song? Fat Boy Slim. Or oh, was he Hispanic? Was he a Mexican dude? I, I can't remember, but I think I done heard of Fat Boy Slim, though. But like I said, rappers from my city. That's who I listen to. Like, uh, even Busta Rhymes shocked me, y'all. When I heard Busta Rhymes say that shit, that the West Indies and somewhere else that he was talking about, like, started hip-hop. And I'm like, Hold on, I, I need to go listen to that interview again, y'all. Because I know I ain't hear Buster say that shit, what I thought he said. Man. Really? I ain't never heard of Macklemore for the alphabet community. I ain't never heard. See, I don't, when you go into them alphabet communities, I don't even fuck around. They let them have they, I let them have their own shit because they already trying to take over our shit anyway. They putting the, the, the alphabet community above our problems. They trying to throw the alphabet community in with us. Mm, no. <laughs> get the fuck out of here with that shit. All them elemental PQs and all that. Get the fuck on with that shit, man. And I just want them to explain that shit to me. I don't I don't hate them. But what but what they doing is wrong because they know that shit wrong. Now y'all make me turn this live into something totally different because I wasn't talking about a motherfucker that's a man trying to wear a dress, trying to teach our children. That's some bullshit. But back to this uh, music thing. Soul to Soul, fine. I like Soul to Soul. They still back to life, back to reality. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, DJ. Music, man. Like Rice, Big Rice, Big Rice, no music, shit. He he, about no more music than I know. House of Pain, see what I'm saying? House of Pain, they was on their own shit. Some Irish dudes talking about their struggles. I forgot about House of Pain. Wasn't House of Pain with um? Well, could you call House? Well, yeah. Were they white or Irish? Do Irish people consider themselves white? You see what I'm saying? Or are they just Irish? That's that's something else you got to look at. I mean, that's just that's just some. These are the type of questions you have to ask. The Caucasus, Caucasians, Anglo-Saxons were the true white people. Y'all do know that though, right? Okay, I just thought I. I mean, I, this ain't no history class, and I told y'all already, I ain't no fucking. No, uh, I ain't got no masters. I ain't got no degree in nothing but common sense. Okay, I know how to add. I know how to put two and two together to make shit make sense. Color me bad. <laughs> yeah, they did. I ain't gonna lie, cause I thought they were black as hell. I promised I did, and I'm like, they, <laughs> they white as some other. Like, yeah, color bad. They fucked me up, but see, they made decent music. They made decent me. They was talking about. They was talking about fucking, sex. You know what I'm saying? But they were straight. You see what I'm saying? Real rap Super Bowl was payback for that Eminem. Was it exactly? Eminem was a talking white dude in that. Cause I mean, like we got white boys around here that rap. And then when I saw the young dude, he did a video with a white dude. I was like, oh, man. I like, I was like, I lost him because I was talking to the dude. And then when I seen that, I saw that when I saw him do that video with the white dude, I'm like, see, we make it, see how easy we make it for him to come in and culture vulture us. We let him, we let him feed, we get on a feature with the motherfucker. Then next thing you know, they out here, like they got down uh, Elton John or somebody. Liar Cohen. Man, who, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. There must be some new guys. That one that one white guy, he be talking, he be talking that. I forgot I had listened to his shit. I forgot what his name was, but he be talking that controversial shit. He all on the fucking internet with that shit. Ain't nobody fl flagged him. Ain't nobody said his content was was racist or shit. You feel me? 
But I they goddamn ban my content because I post another motherfucker shit about being racist. I ain't get on with that shit. And then in this this right here, I probably get all kind of copyright strikes or claims or whatever the fuck. Because I done disclaim so many um disclaimer because of profanity. You feel me? But yeah, y'all, man, shit. If Short Bus still alive, man, I'm gonna end mine because I've been on here too long already, y'all. I just really wanted to get that shit off my chest and tell these people. You always get copyright claims. The truth hurt these weak hearted cats. Yeah, they, it does. It does. And then them little bitty, well, I ain't gonna call them little bitty because they over $100, but them YouTube chicks, you feel me? Them hoes. They come in now. They come in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't bragging about the shit because I ain't. Them hoes don't come in every week like they like I need them to. But they come when they come on time. So that little shit help for the little shit that I do do on YouTube, and I appreciate all my supporters. You feel me? Because without y'all, shit, Rob Allbanks wouldn't even be no Rob Allbanks on this motherfucker. You feel me? And still. With all the support that I do get. What's up, Tam Tam? What's good? You you have to um, go back and watch the um, video that I showed about the N-word and um, a disclaimer for that because that was, I used that on the Fair Rights Act, okay? For the method of teaching, okay? So disclaim that. So don't give me no goddamn copyright claim to be for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But YouTube do what the fuck they want to do. I just say about 100 F-bombs on this thing. So ain't no telling. They might not even let the video play. But as long as hey, if they don't let the video play, that let me know that everything that I told y'all on this live was the super duper truth. And if they do let it, I need y'all to share this shit out so they can get out there. That dope name, I just caught that. Uh, okay, then. I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. Appreciate y'all finna go over here to Short Bus if he's still alive. Peace, love, and reparations. Damn, I'm on the wrong side. Rob, all the banks. Peace. Peace.